Hey, it's uh, Jay and Jeff from uh, Two Dudes Reviews. He's the guest dude here today. Uh, uh, by the way, check out his YouTube channel. Um, which which channel you want to pimp out today? Today we're going to pimp out Happy Family One Thousand Four. Okay. So you never know who's checking out <laughs> reviews of alcohol or uh, cigars, but you yeah. might be some airsofters out there. So if you're into airsoft, yeah, uh, stop by. And after we finish this entire bottle tonight, we're going to go out in the backyard and play some airsoft. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see that video in ten minutes, and you'll also find out why. Why, uh, the longer the age, the more expensive the brandy. And yeah, this is an Armenian yes. Armenian brandy, right? Yes. Ararat. Uh, Tur Nari. Na Nairi. Nairi. Nairi? Yeah, Nairi. Anyway. Nairi. Um, it's a beautiful brandy. What can you tell me about how you procured such a find here? Well, we got a gift. Well, uh, I have a beautiful Armenian wife. Yes. And she's part of the Armenian community, and quite often we get gifts of brandy. And okay. As you may or may not know, and you, the listener, that Armenia is actually um, very well known of brandy, if not one of the best brandies in the world. Okay. So now when I think brandy, I immediately think cognac, I immediately think France, right? Right. And so cognac is a brandy. Yeah. But but the Armenians make even better brandy than those French people who don't know how to bathe? Yeah. And if you want to know why, stick around for the end of this video and we'll let you know. <laughs> well, let's crack this sucker open. It hasn't been opened yet. You want me to do the honors? I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. Take a look. He's going to be unboxing this. Yes. Armenian you see, brandy. when when you get it, they do make this uh, child proof and adult proof. And uh, yeah, okay. There's the label, untouched by human hands. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that! Now I wonder what the deal is on this seal. Look at this beautiful seal, multicolored. You know, it's got uh, some gorgeous colors in there. It's not really iridescent, mm -hmm. but there is a hologram on the back part of the label right here. You can tell that this label has been taken off with this plastic put on at a later time. I would imagine because of customs or whatever else, you know, after it leaves Armenia to come stateside, maybe they maybe they do that as a as a customs thing. They do that with cigars. You've seen some of our cigar reviews. So when you get the box of Cubans, occasionally that band will be cut because they like to inspect the cigars, make sure there's no cigar beetles there, or the cigars haven't split up before they ship out this stuff. So, uh, so this brandy, elegant bottle. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't even. You have, you're very attentive. I didn't even. I didn't even notice that. It's it's interesting. That I was, like looking at all this stuff. It was way out of my radar. You see the uh, the cork there. You can see a little bit of oxidation, which probably means that this brandy. Well, it says 20 years old. It was 20 years old going into the bottle. But there's a good chance that the whiteness here on the cork means that it's actually been in this bottle for a significant period of time as well. So who knows? We might be drinking twenty-five-year-old brandy. You know, it's just a, uh, it's just a bonus. Nice oak from the oak barrels. Now we were talking about the age of brandies and the reason why brandy gets more expensive the longer it's aged is because of the oak itself. When you put a distillate inside of an oak cask, mm -hmm. some of that alcohol is going to seep through the oak. And over a significant amount of time, that alcohol is going to evaporate up in the air. They call that the angel share. Um, and oftentimes, you know, back in the, in the dark ages, when they were just discovering how to do brandies, they would put the, the raw alcohol into these oak casks and let it age there for three, four years, and then come back, and the cask would have that much left in it. You know, right? They'd have they'd have two hundred gallons in an oak cask, and they'd be they'd come back a couple of years later, and there'd be sixteen gallons left. And so, you know, they would kill the farmer, or they'd kill the housekeeper, or whatever wow. else, and they discovered that no, it's been secure. It's the angel's share that keeps evaporating. So, the longer it's aged, the less output you're going to have. You might have the same amount of juice that goes in, but you're going to have a far less product, which means that the uh, the quantity is going to go down. Simple economics, right? Supply and demand. The supply would drop. The demand is still there. The price is going to go up. As the, as it evaporates, what whatever is left over would that be more intense or more concentrated? Well, certainly both. A little more intense and more concentrated, and darker in color. Look how dark this brandy is right here. This appears to be a clear bottle, but it's and kind of looking up here in the light here, 
it's tough to see through that, even sideways. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't see anything on the other side of that. It's got a nice, beautiful, dark, dark, dark amber color. Um, and, uh, and clear on the bottom as well. So it doesn't look like there's well, maybe a little bit of sediment in there. Mm -hmm. If I look at the bottom, you can kind of yeah. see there's a ring there. Mm -hmm. Almost, It looks like sugars, but I'm pretty sure there's no sugars in there. Should I pour some for a little yes, bit? Sure. I'll pour you first. Just pour me a little. Yeah, let's get a little Let's sample see. here. Yeah. A little sip. And I've had some nice brandies. There was a, one of my favorite brandy makers uh, called RMS Distilleries in, uh, in Napa, California. Spent 10 years before they could release their first, their first line of brandy. And they spent so much time and so much money in getting the first release out there that they went bankrupt by the third year and had to close up shop. Wow. RMS was funded by the Remy Martin family, who are known for making great cognacs out of France. Mm -hmm. Remy Martin, um, RMS, Remy Martin Signature mm -hmm. was the initials for RMS. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful nose on that. Almost a little chocolatey. You can really smell the spices coming through on that and the oak. Jeff, you got any good descriptors on that? Smells like booze. Yeah. <sighs> smells like alcohol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm, yeah, I mean, thing I like about a nice brandy, and I've tried the King Louis. This, you know, a hundred bucks a glass. Mm -hmm. wow. You you could almost just sit there and smell it. This oh, is also wow. at price range, hundred per hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's the same. All right, let's have a little sip. Mm. And again, just like wine or bourbon, it's okay to slurp. <laughs> You want to get all that air inside there and mm, activate those taste buds a little bit. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. So smooth. I wonder what the alcohol percent is percent. on this. It says, mm. well, Try it's yours. 80 proof. It's 40% alcohol. 40. Uh -huh. That would be 80 proof. 80 proof. Wow, that is. Yeah, in the bottle. Um, it's very delicious. It, it, it felt like mm. it was actually hotter than that. I huh? felt like it was mm -hmm. getting some of that, what did you call angel smoke? Yeah. <laughs> angel <laughs> share. Yeah. Angel share was just kind of evaporating mm -hmm. right out yeah. of my mouth. Yeah. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. one thing I remember is, and you probably remember this because I learned it from you way back in the day. Uh oh. Is that, and by the way, we've been friends for probably 30 years. It's and not he, more than that. Yeah. And he taught me that everything is dandy. With brandy. <laughs> <laughs> dandy with brandy. Yeah, <laughs> I think we were taking some of my parents' share on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day before you have to we say were big it, you, you say it with a British accent, it sounds a little bit better. <laughs> in fact, I think uh, I think we uh, we did a British or an Australian accent for one entire evening, being the only two sober kids at a party one year. Because growing up, we were usually the only two sober kids at the party. Yeah, yeah now not so much. Hmm. That's delicious. Not sure where you can find this here in the States. You probably can't. They brought this from Armenia. Okay, it's brought from Armenia. So, uh, sucks to be you. Yeah. <laughs> We're Two Dudes Reviews.